There will not be a race weekend in Ottawa this year, which means no need for a medical tent for runners. But some of the expertise behind creating that temporary shelter proved useful when a COVID assessment center had to be built at Brewer in just three days. Well, in our Frontline Diaries segment today, we're joined by John Trickett, director at the Ottawa Hospital. John joins us from the command center of the COVID-19 assessment center. Uh, John, thanks for doing this. Um, tell me what's happening where you are. Um, thanks very much for having us. We're in the uh, operational hub of the Brewer Assessment Centre at the moment, and this is where the staff are uh, looking after what's happening in the arena with about 300 patients being tested today. Um, and they're preparing for the next few days ahead of us as well with uh, staff and uh, everything that we need to take care of our patients coming through for testing. So the two buildings are right next door. Why was there a need for a separate space for what you do? And maybe you can just have a little walkthrough and show us what actually happens in there. The reason for two buildings was when we originally set the environment up, we thought we were going to need to uh, test patients in one and prepare them in another. Um, for a variety of reasons, that didn't work. And in fact, it's worked out to great advantage for the staff because we now have a, a building that they can look after themselves in, feel comfortable, and we can do all our documentation here. And then we have a second environment where we're flowing 300 people through 10 lanes in the ice rink. Um, so it's worked out quite well. How many people are actually working in the command centre? Um, there's about six on any given day, and they come back and forth between this environment and the arena, depending on whether people need extra swabs or equipment. This is the environment where our staff will come and uh, take a breather in the middle of their 12 hour day. For the first five weeks, we're on 12 hours a day. Um, and this is a very uh, appreciative uh, little quiet space for them. And you can see the community has stepped up and given us some kudos on the wall, which is really nice. So I imagine this is quite different from uh, those temporary centers that you've helped to be a part of at race weekend. But I'm wondering if there's been any lessons that you've learned from being part of that setup to this. I mean, that's a marathon and this dealing with the pandemic has been quite the marathon as well. Yeah, I think there's some similarities from that perspective. Uh, both need uh, lots of work to be done in a short period of time, potentially with some sick people. Um, so lessons learned, I think, from both that will benefit each other. You mentioned those kudos that are up on the wall in the break room. Is there any one message that's come in or anything that's been really sort of stood out, has been really meaningful? I think they, they come in regularly. It's, um, you know, the... The appreciation from the patients who come through that busy environment that's coping with, you know, three to 400 people a day, that we're still demonstrating the compassion and the excellence in service that people expect to uh, receive and that staff want to give as if everybody was their loved one. So we're, that's the message I'm hearing consistently, even 53 days later, uh, when we're in a rhythm, um, they're getting excellent care, which is wonderful. Excellent, John. We thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Anytime. Thanks. Bye-bye.